Students, this is the fifth class of QSAR. In this class, we are going to see Hansch analysis or Hansch equation. QSAR, that discipline, no, that was initiated by Professor Karvin Hermann Hansch in 1962. That is why he became known as father of computer assisted molecule design. He laid the foundation of QSAR by three important contributions. They are combination of several physicochemical parameters in one regression equation, definition of lipophilic parameters, and the formulation of the parabolic model for nonlinear lipophilicity bioactivity relationship. That's why Hansch may be called as father of concepts of QSAR. Now we will see what is Hansch analysis or Hansch equation. It is a statistical method that is used to relate biological activity with the physicochemical parameters. That the physicochemical parameters know they are otherwise called as descriptors. So, what is Hansch analysis? That is a statistical method or a mathematical model that is used to correlate the physicochemical properties with the biological activity. Here, the physicochemical properties used are log p, pi, sigma, and the steric factors. If the range of the hydrophobicity values is limited to a small range, we are getting a linear equation. For this, the formula would be log 1 by c equal to k1 log p plus k2 sigma plus k3 es plus k4, where k1, k2, k3, k4 are constants. This log p know that is called partition coefficient and sigma that we have already known that is called Hammett substitute one constant es is Taft steric factor. It starts with simple equations and elaborate as more structures are synthesized. If the log p values are spread over a larger range, then the equation would be parabolic. For this, the formula is log 1 by c equal to k1 log p whole square plus k2 log p plus k3 sigma plus k4 es plus k5. Here, the constants know k1 to k5 are determined by computer software to get the best fitting equation. Here all the parameters are not significant. For example, the adrenergic blocking activity of beta, halo or elements are related to only pi and sigma and not to a steric factor. So, for beta, halo or elements, the formula would be log 1 by c equal to 1.22 pi minus 1.59 sigma plus 7.89. So, what is that? So, 1.22 pi minus 1.59 sigma. So, first one is getting positive value and second one is getting my negative value. So, from that we can tell if uh, the biological activity increases, if the substituents have positive pi value and negative sigma value. Okay. So, otherwise we can tell that the substituent should be hydrophobic and electron donating. While well, carrying out the Hansch analysis, we have to choose the substituents carefully. Why? Because the change in biological activity can be attributed to a particular parameter. Now we are going to see assumptions in this analysis. Conformational changes takes place in target site now that can be ignored. The metabolism does not interfere in this. Linear free energy terms are relevant to receptors affinity and they are additive in nature. The relationship between the potency and lipophilicity is linear or parabolic. Now we are going to see the assumptions in Hans analysis. He proposed the action of the drug as depending on two processes. They are the movement of the drug from the point of entry in the body to the site of action and second one is interaction with the receptor site. So, he suggested the linear and non-linear dependence of biological activity on different parameters. Now, we are going to see the merits of this analysis. It correlates the activities with the physicochemical parameters and outside predictions are possible. Now, we will see the limitations of Hansch analysis. There must be parameter values available for the substituents in the data set. A large number of compounds is required. It depends on biological results, relationship of parameters. It is a lead optimization technique and not a lead discovery technique. That is all about Hansch analysis.